So you've been here two years and founded CIC in St. Louis, and now you're heading back to Boston. Reflect on those two years and what it means to you to be a founder of CIC here. So um, these have been, without a doubt, the, the most incredible years of my professional life. Um, the opportunity to take what we created in Cambridge um, and build it uh, from the ground up in a city like St. Louis. Um, we, you know, we had no idea what we were getting into, and looking back two years later, I had no idea that it would be as rewarding uh, in, in the short time I've been here as it's been. Um, in St. Louis, unlike other places, to some degree, including Boston, you, you, you get a sense that you're part of a much greater effort going on in the city. And um, in the way in which a company that's from the outside, the way we were embraced, um, I wasn't expecting that. And so I really am leaving here feeling proud of the fact that I think St. Louis, CIC in St. Louis is helping the, the much greater effort to build uh, St. Louis into a, a city known as a uh, known for innovation. You must look at what was kind of a bare bones space that you were building out, and now look at it and it's populated by all these companies of big and small, you know, varying degrees, doing different things. And you must be insanely proud of what what you've accomplished when you look at what's here now. Um, I am proud. Um, I'm I'm. I'm proud because we really didn't know what we were, what to expect. This is the show me state. We had a slow start. I think we really needed to build our business here um, and really be open for a little while before people understood what we were all about. So the sheer anxiety that we, that I experienced and we as a group um, experienced building this thing, now reflecting back with a facility that is full, we've got a wait list. Uh, we have 140 or 150 wonderful companies, um, 400 plus people. Um, yeah, I'm proud of the, I'm proud of the work that my team has done, um, and I'm particularly proud of the companies that are here. Not not only do we fill it, but we fill it with a really wonderful group of of companies that really do resemble the quality of entrepreneurship and innovation that that we found in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where we're headquartered. You talked a little bit about the comparison between Boston and St. Louis, but when you look at kind of the entrepreneurial ecosystem in each city, uh, obviously St. Louis is a less evolved one than Boston is, but um, what kind of comparisons do you draw between the two? Yeah, uh, yeah St. Louis is, is nothing like Boston yet. Uh, Boston has uh, tens of billions of dollars of investment capital a few blo blocks from each other, so there's uh, it's on a whole different level. Um, what I think is really cool about St. Louis though, and the parallels I would draw, is it feels to me a little bit like Boston and Cambridge maybe 10, 15 years ago, um, in the sense that it's putting together all of the different pieces to create uh, a world-class place for attracting entrepreneurs and investment capital. What does that mean? Um, you've got incredible universities here that are starting to really get behind um, and understand how to mobilize innovation. Um, Washington University, St. Louis University, and UMSL in particular are, are, uh, are chiefly the th reasons that we chose, not only St. Louis, but the actual location within Cortex that we chose. You add to that the significance of the Cortex community and all of the different innovation activities, organizations, spaces going on in downtown, from T-Rex to Capital Innovators, Cultivation Capital, um, and, um, and I-10, uh, these things all collectively are really hard to do. And it feels a lot like Cambridge just a few years ago um, and the momentum that just a few groups started to pull together. Um, and, and all of a sudden you do find that you're attracting more and more capital and more and more talent from other parts of the country. So you mentioned Cortex. You've been part of Cortex and really a core part of Cortex's growth um, like no other period since it opened in 2003. Talk about that and, and kind of what you see in the future as Cortex continues to grow and expand. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going back after just two short years um, and I, there's a, I'm really torn about it. Um, I'm going back because this is where my family is from and, and, and all that good stuff. But there's so much incredible stuff that's happening in Cortex that I really do feel like I'm, I've been sort of joking with people that I'm leaving in the, I feel like I'm leaving in the second inning. Um, there, 
the vision, the planning, the money, the investment, and the leadership, uh, chiefly Dennis Lauer, behind Cortex, that's what motivated CIC to come out here. Um, and they're just cruising. So uh, they've got more uh, green space to build on. Um, and their vision is incredible. And in two years, I've, I mean, when I was here, there were mounds of dirt and roads that were closed. And now we have, um, we have people coming with baby strollers, you know, on Saturday afternoons because of what's going on around this district. So it's just every month it feels like it's taking on a whole new, um, you know, a life of its own. And, and it's just really exciting to see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to to be moving home because I really have enjoyed and, and um, uh, gotten a lot of satisfaction from being part of it. Finally, uh, what are you going to miss most about when you, when you go back to Boston? Um, my commute. <laughs> um, uh, that's actually semi-serious. Uh, I really love um, the commute, which really represents sort of how the benefits of a small city I've loved the convenience and the proximity that you have here and how it's just easy to get around. Um, uh, but the, the bigger answer is, uh, as cliche as it sounds, is the people here. Um, the relationships I've built, you included my friend. Um, uh, the people here are have an ownership over the city that I've never had, frankly, over Boston. Um, and I have a lot to learn from that. Um, and the way in which they've invited me to be part of this effort to rebuild this wonderful city um, that's their home um, has been very special. I'll miss that.